हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी विल सी लीनियर इन इक्वेशन सोल्यूशन ग्राफिकली वी विल ड्रॉ द ग्राफ एंड शो द सोल्यूशन शेड द सोल्यूशन देयर डू यू नो व्हाट एन इन इक्वेशन रिप्रेजेंट इफ आई से टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई इज ग्रेटर देन सिक्स व्हाट डज दिस रिप्रेजेंट दिस रिप्रेजेंट अ रीजन अ एरिया इन ग्राफ but if i say what does this represent it is a straight line this will represent a line only but this will represent an area a region so now we will solve two linear equations graphically that means we will try to find the common region suppose i am taking one equation this another equation i am writing Suppose this is three x plus four y is uh, greater than twelve, like this. So how to draw the graph? Firstly, what we will write the corresponding equation of this linear in equation is this. So we need to draw the graph of that. So firstly, we will concentrate how to draw the graph of a line. here you just see this can be drawn very easily if we just put x equal to 0 here y will come out to be 2 suppose this is 2 on y axis if we put y is equal to 0 then x will come out to be 3 suppose this is 3 very simple what to do again you just see once you put x equal to 0 get the value of y mark it on the y axis Again, you put y equal to zero. Get the value of x. Mark it on the x-axis. You got two points by joining the two points. You will get the straight line. You will get straight line, not this inequation. We will see how to write this inequation. Now, another thing you see, just greater or less sign is there, not equal to. You need to draw the dotted line, not the solid line. If it is greater than equal to zero, it will be a solid line. so only greater or only less you need to draw a dotted line like this i am drawing here this is the line now for second line i need to write the corresponding equation as as 3x plus 4y is equal to 12 same method you follow when you put x is equal to 0 what is y y is coming out to be 3 you mark it here somewhere if it is 3 just uh, draw on the graph paper you will draw it easily now you put y is equal to 0 the value of x is coming out to be 4 so four somewhat here again it is just greater okay not with equal to sign so again dotted line so now you are conversant how to draw a line on a graph that is very simple now we will see the in equation portion what we will follow this i am just giving you technique you just take origin origin means 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 as reference point and line has two sides either downward side or upward this is line number 1 this is line number 2 either downward or upward that means you just understand that is very important thing either we have to share the region which is containing origin or the region which is contain not containing origin so two regions are there containing origin not containing origin so we will decide which region we have to share whether the region containing origin or not containing origin that can be decided by just putting the coordinate of origin in the in equation suppose i put here the coordinate of origin that is 0 comma 0 2 into 0 0 plus 3 into 0 0 0 is greater than 6 is it correct or wrong tell me this is definitely wrong that means we don't have to share the region which is containing origin so we have to go for the region which is not containing origin so how to decide if it is false 
गो फॉर द रीजन नॉट कंटेनिंग ओरिजिन नॉट कंटेनिंग ओरिजिन इफ इट इज ट्रू देन वी हैव टू गो फॉर द रीजन विच इज कंटेनिंग ओरिजिन सो दिस विल बी द रीजन जस्ट मार्क लाइक दिस इफ दिस लाइन दिस दिस इज अपवर्ड इज इट because the downward reason is containing origin and upward reason is not containing origin with respect to line 1 we are not concentrating on line 2 right now on line 1 now go for line number 2 here the same process we will follow we put the coordinate of origin this is 0 plus 0 that is 0 is greater than 12 is it true or false this is false again so we have to shade the region which is not containing origin two regions are here here and there so this region now can you tell me which is the common region the region which is satisfying both the conditions this will be the common region you see here this region is satisfying both the conditions it is upward of line 1 and it is upward of line 2 like this you have to shade the common reason in the given in equations or oh, one more example i am taking if the line is 2x minus 3y is less than equal to 6 x plus y is greater than equal to 6 x is greater than equal to 0 y is greater than equal to 0 what does this mean this is very simple wherever you see x is greater than equal to 0 y is greater than equal to 0 that means they are talking about first quadrant that means you have to shade the region in first quadrant only now just process i am starting the corresponding equation will be 2x minus 3y is equal to 6 and here the corresponding equation will be x plus y is equal to 6 now firstly we need to draw the graph of the two lines what will be the lines dotted or the solid lines here equal to sign is here so we have to go for the solid lines so now you see here what process we follow once you put x equal to 0 y is coming out to be minus 2 So you mark here. Now you put y is equal to zero. X is coming out to be three. Is it three here? And now draw the line. This is line number one. Do you want to shade the region for line one? Go for that. Just see this in equation. If we put x equal to zero, y equal to zero. Why I am putting? i said you always compare with respect to origin either to the origin side that means upward or non origin side downward true means origin side false means opposite to the origin side if i put 0 0 this is 0 is less than equal to 6 is it true or false it is true so true that means which area we need to shade the area which is containing origin that is upward so just like this arrow just put an arrow that means you can identify the area this is upward area now go for second equation the line is like this you put x is equal to 0 y is 6 y is equal to 0 x is 6 now draw the line this is line number 2 shade the in equation portion this is in equation again with respect to origin either origin side or non origin side you put x is 0 y is 0 this is 0 is greater than equal to 6 is it true or false this is false why 0 is not greater than 6 so which reason we need to shade the reason which is not containing origin this region is containing origin so this region is not containing origin like this now we need to shade the region which is satisfying both the conditions so region will be this will this be not here we won't go here we going to go here why because it is mentioned that x and y 
should be greater than 0 that means it is in the first quadrant same way you shade the reason this is the graphical solution of two in equations very easily you are understanding sometimes i have seen student just struck if it is getting x is greater than or equal to 2 what will be the graph very simple add x equal to 2 you just draw a line parallel to y axis this is x equal to 2 suppose y is less than or equal to 4 what you need to draw the graph of that line at y you take 4 parallel to x axis this way and for that if you need to shade how to shade again origin origin means 0 comma 0 you put x is equal to 0 so 0 is greater than or equal to 2 true or false this is false that means region which is not containing origin so for with respect to this line this area is containing origin this area won't contain origin so this area if you need to go write this in equation shade this in equation see you put again origins coordinate 0 comma 0 so for y you are writing 0 0 is less than or equal to 4 what is that this is true so the reason which is containing origin what will be the reason origin containing origin like this so this way you shade the reason find the common reason and graphical solution of in equations will become very very easy hope you are understanding for the timing okay and bye bye if you like my videos please do subscribe my channel and share my videos thank you